Hey guys, welcome to the Where Are They Now series, where we talk to Hillcrest graduates to find out where are they now. Today's guest is amazing and has such a love for nature and is going to be familiar to many of you. So let's listen up to that interview now. All right, well, welcome and thank you so much for coming on today. Could you please tell us your full name and what year you graduated? My name is Madison Scully and I graduated in 2019. What, were you like a, like a house captain? Yeah, I was the house captain of um, Johnson House, the best house. We won like everything last year and I was also a member of the Senate. Oh, very good, very good. Well, now that you've graduated, what are you up to these days? Well, thanks for asking, Jason. <laughs> I, <laughs> I am currently studying at Monash University in Peninsula and I am doing a Bachelor of Secondary Education and I specialize in physical education and health. Looking back at your time at Hillcrest, do you have any like really funny memories that kind of stand out to you? Um, I have a bazillion funny memories. <laughs> but um, one that really stands out is one I have with my friend Steph. Um, me and her used to do like outdoor ed, so we learned a lot about the Greens, which is a political party. And like, you're probably wondering where this is going, but um, me and Steph, we knew nothing about politics. So we just used to go around and be like, yeah, go the Greens, like they're good for the environment. Like we should support them. And um, we were in Christian studies with Mr. Owens and we kept talking about the Greens and he was horrified. He was like, no, you can't support the Greens. And he knows a lot about politics. So he probably was right. And he was like, no, and then, so we kept just telling him how good they were and then this rotation of things would be every time we would see him, we would yell, go the green! Well, do you have any like really fond or favorite memories uh, of your time at Hillcrest? Um, yes. So my fondest memory would probably be last year, which everything happened last year. <laughs> but um, I got baptized last year and it was really exciting because um, without going to Hillcrest, I probably would have never really became a Christian and never met my Christian friends or been invited to youth. So um, last year I decided I wanted to get baptized, but I asked my youth pastor if I could be baptized at Hillcrest. And he looked at me like, what? <laughs> and I was like, yeah, I want to go get baptized in the river. And he was like, what? <laughs> and I was like, yeah, because um, I had done Ed and stuff. I really felt like I felt closest to God in the environment, which yeah. like a lot of people do. Like I may not be a person who feels closest when I read or worship, but I'm one of those people that like set me out in a campsite under the stars and I'll be like, how can you not know God's real? Like, yeah, totally. I just, yeah, it's, I feel his presence more. So I was like, look, Hillcrest is the reason why I'm a Christian. It's the reason why I have a relationship with God and I love the environment. So let's go get baptized in the coolest place at Hillcrest, the wetlands. <laughs> nice. So yeah, and then I got baptized and I was really lucky. I had like, I asked 10 of my closest teachers, which a lot of people will be like, you're close with your teachers. But I was really lucky because Hillcrest teachers are very different. Like they want to have that relationship with you. Like not only as your educator, but as someone that you can really look up to. So I asked a lot of my teachers, like nine of them, and they all showed up. So I was really blessed. And um, it was probably like, besides obviously getting baptized, it was a highlight just seeing that on their day off, on a Saturday, so many teachers and chaplains came <laughs> and supported me on like the biggest day of my life. What about like your relationship with God? You kind of touched on that a little bit, but like, um, how was your relationship with God, say, when you first came to Hillcrest, and then how is it now? Um, well, I guess at the start of Hillcrest, I didn't really have a relationship with God. I haven't been brought up in a Christian home or really learned anything besides, obviously, we celebrate Christmas and Easter, because mm. my dad grew up in a Catholic background, so he still celebrates those and everything like that. But um, yeah, when I came, um, it started to grow in year eight. I was invited to youth group and um, I kind of got to know God there, but then I kind of, my friend left, so I didn't really get to experience God much longer after that. And then I started going back in year 12 in like kind of year 11, it started fostering again. And that's when, um, yeah, I decided to get baptized. And 
Now it's, um, yeah, it's going really strong. I am actively involved in the kids' ministry at my church. So we make like object lessons and music videos. And it's really exciting because I get to be a part of that. And um, yeah, and I also am part of Southern Cross, which is like a Nola kids' ministry where we take kids from like abandoned and neglected backgrounds. And we just give them love and give them a week away and just treat them like they're the coolest people on the planet because they are. Do you have any parting words for the students at Hillcrest? Um, yeah, well, I actually have this Bible verse on my wall. It reminds me of life. <laughs> and um, it's James 1.12 and it said, Blessed is the man who remains steadfast under trial. For when he has stood the test, he will receive the crown of life, which God has promised to those who love him. And I kind of look at that and it's a testimony to life isn't easy. And the students have probably experienced that now that they think life is ending. It's really hard. And I went through that in school. I went through some really hard times in my family, in my life. But I guess I was really grateful by the end that I had God and just praying to him and putting all your faith in him is great like and just to keep persevering like life's hard but you know it's gonna keep going and you're gonna be awesome and, and when you get through it you're gonna learn and you're gonna be a better person and i'm a better person because of the hard times now so just take it and use it because <laughs> you are awesome <laughs> wow such wisdom such great words we so appreciate having you on maddie thank you so much and all the best for your future. Thank you, Jason.